What's going on guys? A number of you have asked me in the past about how I paint my ARs. So I thought I'd finally get around to showing y'all how I do that. Um, I'll tell you up front, I do not do it like a lot of people do it. I do it very simplistically in a very utilitarian way. I'm not trying to make a showpiece with mine. I'm simply trying to add to their blending ability as in not to stand out as a big black you know object okay so the short and simple version is I just take a dry towel wipe it off real good if need be hit a couple of oily spots with a little touch of lacquer thinner wipe it off good again with a dry towel and paint it I usually use either the Cryon camo line or Brownells Alumahide I don't get all fancy with the prep. I don't put all this clear coat layers and stuff on a lot of guys do. It's simple utilitarian function that I can touch up easy as needed. So, as luck would have it, I just happen to have a gun here that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give you all kind of the, the short version or try to make it short for you as to how I paint and camo a gun. So, with that said, let me show you what I got. All right, so this pistol is one that belongs to one of my best friends. This is a 10 and a half inch Palmetto State Armory upper um, that he did a build with. So we're going to take this and make it so it's not black anymore. Um, I'll try to walk you through step by step as I can. Again, there's not a whole lot to show because, well, I don't do a whole lot. So let me do a couple of things here to get started and I'll show you where we're at. All right, so here's what we did. Got the hand guards removed. Got the rear piece of the brace removed. I've got the gas tube taped. I've got the front sight taped and whoop, the rear sight taped. That's just to keep those black. Now the reason I took this part of the brace off is because I'm gonna be using um, alumahide on it instead of Krylon, the Lumahide can tend to be a little bit thicker than what Krylon is. And if I get the Lumahide on here with the tight tolerances that it has fitting here, it'll make it so it might not want to work right. Not to mention the rubbery piece right here, the uh, Lumahide doesn't stick all that well to. So we're just going to bypass doing that. It's not going to be enough of anything to really be a concern. So that said, I also removed the optic and we just tape the lens off on there good and we tape the battery markings just so you can still have reference to how the battery goes in and that's it. I've got an old 20 round GI aluminum mag that we put in the mag well and that's all we're going to do. Now we're going to give it a good wipe down and start spraying her up. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm outside I'm just taking an old towel and just kind of wiping it down anywhere I see oily spots and this works a little better outside in the sunlight because you can see where the Sun is reflecting off of the oily places again I'm not overly concerned about it um, anywhere there's oil at you'll get a little bit of the uh, paint or aluminum coming off it's not a big deal it's not going to be much um, it's not going to affect the overall camouflage ability of the gun you're still making it something other than a big black object right so we're gonna finish that up and that looks good enough for my taste so what we'll do now is you can use it whatever you want to. I've just got an old piece of wire that I use. And all I do is run it through the flash suppressor because I'm not worried about keeping the flash suppressor from getting scratched up. It's going to blow off a lot of the paint once you shoot, shoot it. So. Hanging her up. 
right here, as you can see. Then I will get this is some OD green brown alzalumahide. <laughs> we'll give another good shake here real quick. See if we can uh, give it one more good mixing. Should be all right. I've already mixed it up a little bit, but for posterity's sake, we'll give it a, another good one. So here's all you do. This is as simple as it gets, guys. What I'll do is grab the tail end. You got to hit it from a couple of different angles to cover everything right. And I can hold it up like this and hit it. You gotta keep moving with it. You don't wanna just hold it in one spot. That's when it'll get too thick on you and run. And that's what you don't want. Another thing you got to do is you got to turn the safety so you don't have a black spot where the safety is. Don't forget to get it looking down from the front right there. Hope y'all can still see this. I'm sorry about that. Uh, out of the camera. Stick my finger on the grip and turn it a little bit. And this can start to get a little shallow. That's all right, we're about done anyway, so. We're just doing this one solid OD green. That's what he wanted. We'll probably come back and camo it actually at a later date. But for now, we just want to make it so it's not all black. Turn our safety. Catch that. I think we're looking pretty good for the most part. Put a little bit more in the grip right there. All right. I just spin her around and give her another look. I'm trying to do this so y'all can see it, but I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera right out here today. Alright, so I think we're pretty good here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just let that sit out here in the sun and bake for as long as we can. And then we will uh, come back and check it later, see if it needs any touching up anywhere. And if it does, great. If not, we'll give it another day or two to cure and 
you're done. The only thing about the Lumahide is it takes a little longer to cure than the Krylon does. Krylon will cure a lot faster. This takes a little longer. Um, in some cases though this makes for a little harder finish so it's a, it's a trade-off. Um, I like both and use both. Again, I don't get overly concerned about it. I can touch it up if I need to. I'm not making a, an art piece here, okay? So, we'll come back in a little bit and check it and see how she's doing. All right, guys. So, I've let it dry and cure for a day and a half now. And there's the finished product that uh, you can see. Nothing fancy. I don't do all the multiple layers of clear coat and all the multiple prep steps and all that stuff. <clears throat> Not uh, that there's a problem with anyone that does. It just depends on what you're going for. If you're going strictly for function and uh, usability, etc., in my opinion, you don't have to worry about all those extra steps. It's going to get scratched and dinged up which is par for the course if you're actually using the stuff so it's easy to touch up it's not a big deal and I know it's kind of uneventful but that's literally all there is to painting a gun um, if I would have used Krylon instead of the Lumahide it had been done even faster I could have had it done in less than a day because the Krylon just cures and dries faster than the Lumahide does so there you go not a whole lot to this one but uh some of y'all had asked and that's literally it the only other thing i'll add is if I, if my buddy wanted to camouflage this one more per se you could come back with some brown and tan or whatever and just hit some random stripes and splotches or whatnot across it and that will go even further towards breaking up the, the overall outline um, but as it stands uh, that's uh that's pretty much it. You guys take care, and I will see you in another one.